The harbour by the junction had been expanding. A new quay had been constructed to allow for more boats to arrive. Thomas doesn't use the harbour much, he normally pulls passenger trains. But sometimes he helps with the goods. One morning, not too long after the quay had been opened, he took some trucks of stone to the harbour. He was excited to see the new quay. But when he arrived, he saw a large sign that stood next to the tracks. What? He fumed. Oh, why ever not? He looked around. Well, the sign doesn't say danger, so there can't be anything for me to fall down. He wanted to go past and see, but his driver wouldn't let him. Why can't I go past that sign? Thomas moaned that night in the sheds. It's not fair. It's because it's my special key, Percy laughed, and I don't want you messing it up. Thomas didn't realise Percy was joking. I wouldn't mess it up. And why do you get your own key? It's my branch line after all. The next day, Percy was feeling a little unwell. Thomas saw this as an opportunity. You poor engine, he said. Why not pull Annie and Clarabelle today? They're much lighter than trucks. I'll handle the goods. Are you sure? Percy asked. Of course, Thomas grinned. That's what friends are for. The first freight train of the day carried fruit and vegetables from the farms. Thomas eagerly made his way along the goods line. His driver and fireman were unaware of his antics and assumed he was just in a good mood. But when they reached the harbour, his driver struggled to get control. Whoa, Thomas, we're coming in too fast. But Thomas pulled forwards. His driver reduced steam and applied the brakes, but Thomas was already passing the sign. Hurrah, Thomas said. Then everything happened at once. Thomas entered the sharp curve and suddenly felt a huge amount of pain on his wheels. Oh my goodness, he cried, stop, stop. Suddenly there was a crack and then a splash. Thomas opened his eyes. He was hanging off the edge of the quayside, his buffer beam deep inside the coal barge. The trucks had mostly remained on the tracks, but the produce inside was bumped and bruised. Workers quickly secured the coal barge, but it was a while before they could lift Thomas out. Thomas was still puzzled about how the accident happened in the first place. The answer came a bit later, when the fat controller arrived. You are a very naughty engine. That sign is there because your wheelbase is too long for the curve. You can't get round it. Thomas felt very stupid. Even he could now see that the idea of a special key seemed made up. Next day, he was being taken to the works on Henry's train. I told you you'd mess up my key. Percy chuckled. There's no such thing, Thomas retorted. And it's a stupid key anyway. I hear they had to find an extra long truck to carry you, Percy continued. I hope your journey to the works isn't too bendy. Percy found Thomas's accident hilarious. But Thomas thought Percy was being very silly indeed.